These are our future. And nobody asks our future about our future. So let's go on this political debates for the first time. So guys, this political game will start with inventing a party. So you have to write your party name of your choice. It does we have representative from Future Party, Peace Party, Climate Party, Freedom Party, and Our Party. Let's have the first questions for the Future Party leader. What do you think about our education system? I think it has to be changed because it did not change for over a hundred years since the Industrial Revolution. And uh, back then they're like they're teaching the kids to work in factories and they're like told what to do and that's what our education system is now. So I think they need to teach us more about creativity and teach us more about tax, like how to do our tax and our bills and how to manage everything. The leader of uh, our party. I think that uh, the schools should use like uh, more of the technology we have instead of always writing on paper and uh, yeah. Our next question is, do we really have to pay to go to the university? We start with the leader of the climate party. To pay for university, I think maybe we should just like add to uh, the funds and just add, uh, yeah, like I said, add into the funds to help our community. The flower party? I don't think we should pay for university because of the government funds the university is I get if you have to pay like for books, but like for the other things, like just to go to university, I don't think you should pay. The leader of the peace party? I believe we shouldn't pay for university because a lot of people don't have enough money, but also want to pursue their dreams and go to university or college. And we are, we're already paying for the books and we're already paying for the apartments and all those types of things. So we should also think about people and their families and how much money they have. The leader of the future party? Uh, I think it, it, it's really like dependent. Um, I think you should not pay for university or at least lower the price because it is pretty expensive, especially if you're looking at a degree like the uh, medical or something like that, like a doctor or a surgeon. Um, you have to work really hard a um, few years to just get the degree and you have to pay a lot of money. So maybe just lower, lowering the price would be a little bit better. So our next question is, what do you think about the environment and the climate change? We will start with the uh, Freedom Party leader. I think they should use more of electrical engineer to make more factories uh, instead of using instead of using gas and these kind of and, uh, materials to build these kind of factories because it's, uh, it's ruining our environment and causing climate change every, everywhere. The leader of the peace party. I believe that climate change and people are very worried if, worried if, we're, if we run out of them, that'll be a huge problem. Also, all the factories that have, like, that have gas and release gas into the air has, has changed the atmosphere in the air and has caused the um, sea rise to rise higher and higher. So our houses may end up in the ocean someday. To make electricity yeah, more refined, cause to no. raise awareness to your wall to charge them, but you're also using fossil fuels to charge them, which but causes what about solar yeah. panels that you exchange them instead of the bricks on your roof, okay? And it takes uh, like solar power, and when you're not using it, it just stores it. It doesn't immediately go away when it's the night time journey. So you can just charge it. It's gonna work the same as a home, but if not any better. Yes, and even that's but why we what raise our awareness to make garage all the time. What's okay, the then what's that the problem with dude, parking? That isn't, that isn't what is the problem? I now with the leader of the climate party. I think we should use more clean electricity resources. Um, maybe uh, put some solar panels on top of like the factories, the roofs of the factories, because that 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 way we don't need to use fossil fuels, which 
uh, pollute a bunch of lakes and that is not healthy for our community and environment. Um, the leader of the future party. So a lot of people are saying we need action now and we do. I'm not like I'm not saying you, we don't need it, but it's hard. They need to like be a little bit more patient because it's not that easy t to get everyone to convert because it's sometimes it's more expensive and it just takes time. The leader of peace party. Another reason we've been running out of fossil fuels is that uh, our human rate has been um, has been exceeding uh, over the hundred over a hundred years. So we've been uh, and there's also like not much space in the earth now. Of how many? There is, there is. Not that much. No, there is, Judy. We're no. Judy, Ahmed, if we Ahmed, take every. Can I continue? If we take, it's a, wait, let me make this point, okay? If we take all seven billion people yeah. on Earth, we can only fill Los Angeles. We won't fill the entire world. Exactly. We have so we much. Of uh, the leader of our party. Yeah. Um. I think that the government for each country should like uh like you could like have a line of people and like they give you they give their cars to the problem uh, the government then they make their cars they use the parts of their cars into um electric cars and the people pay them a little more to make their cars into electric cars to so change the car from uh gas to electric mm -hmm and make it like a couple thousand dollars to change your car to electric. A repeat. The leader of Peace Party again. Uh, I believe that the leader of our party is uh, is wrong because uh, if you want to, if you're going to change every single car into an electric car, you uh, electricity is used by, uh, is powered by fossil fuels and we've been running out of fossil fuels. Uh, to just make, like, for example, rulers and plastic is fossil fuels, and and we've been running out of fossil fuels. So if we change it into solar panels, that will work way better than electricity. What do you think about plastics? Oh yeah, I, I was. Uh, I, was the, I was also. The, the leader, also okay, the leader of the climate uh, party. So I think we should also stop using uh, plastic and instead try to use metal or glass. Because it's really, uh, it's really just ruining our environment, and it's it's not good for all the, the animals and um, all just the rest of our environment. Yeah, the leader of Freedom Party. Yes. I think the leader of Climate Party is wrong because, first of all, iron and glass is uh is like um is more valuable than using as uh, like more valuable than getting plastic. And stuff, and plus, like uh, they're even more. Uh, they're also causing a problem in our environment. So is plastic. So my my um, my like my like my perspective. my perspective way to handle this is to uh, try to find a new way, a new material to help uh, a, a new material that won't cause any uh, any problems in our environment. Do you want to answer climate uh, party uh, leader? Yes. Uh, I do agree with Freedom Party. That's that's uh, a good idea. Also, to find a new material, I am just giving examples as like metal or glass. There's a lot more material we can use. Material we can use, and as uh, like Freedom Party said, uh, we can actually try to. Uh, we'll try. We can also try our best to uh, try to make a new material uh, to use instead of plastic because. Like I said earlier, uh, plastic is really ruining your environment and it's not that good. So our next question, what do you think about our health system? The leader of our party. I think we should have more doctors from other countries or more doctors uh, in the hospitals and like the uh, government make to make it easier for uh, the doctors from foreign countries to uh, be doctors in this country so um, like uh, for example uh, like some doctors already have their degree and they spend lots of time on it and like they came here to practice and then you have to like do four more months or something to become a doctor again I meant four more years so, uh, the leader of our free uh, freedom party sir. so I agree with the leader of our party but I have like also a uh, like also a solution to that problem here in Canada no one uh, like here the society and government doesn't want to uh, take 
any uh, take any doctors from uh, everywhere in the world except from here. They think that our society has the best uh, uh, doctor um, training and uh, like and like yeah training and like best degree. But like I I, I think they should also look out to. Um, to like get more doctors around the world and maybe put like a really hard, uh, like maybe a really hard uh, new test that will uh, see what is their level. If their level is good enough to be Canadian doctor here, the, the, they would hire them. Peace party leader. Doctors are also like, I feel like they're, they're not trained enough so with their technologies and testings, they maybe can't tell. Mm -hmm. The leader of the future yeah, part. Yeah. Yeah, it's not the, the doctor's yeah. problem most of the time. Yeah. That's because of our technology. Like we're limited. Yeah. Mm -hmm. People don't want to use it that much. What? Yeah. No, like we're limited. We don't have technology yeah. to find out what's the problem. It's yeah. not used. That's yeah. some... The leader of the future part. Uh, the safest place to have a heart attack is probably in a taxi, because all, like all the taxi drivers are probably doctors who couldn't find a job. Guys, what do you think about our public transportation? The leader of the climate party. I, uh, so I think you should lower the price. Uh, if you don't want to make it free, at least we'll lower the price to $1 because people will use, um, uh, people will use, um, uh, people will use cars more than public, uh, public transportation anyway. So if you don't want to make it free, at least make it like lower the price to $1. That would be fair in my opinion. The leader of uh, oh, our after party. Can I, go? Uh, I think he should lower the price of the public transportation. Uh, for example, in China, uh, the public transportation is one yuan, and five yuan is one dollar, one Canadian, and uh, so one yuan is twenty Canadian cents. I uh, get there's more people there, but like four four Canadian is like twenty yuan, and I. I think it's too much. Uh, so, the leader of the Freedom Party. So I also think that the our uh, leader of our party and the leader of our claim party is also correct. But I also seek to find new uh, inventions to make new uh, uh, new transportation vehicles for the public. For example, they would make like a new a uh, new vehicle that will run on uh, a different material or a different main device or something so it can help our society grow bigger and uh, less money to for uh, for public transportation the leader of the peace party i think they also should lower the price because a lot of people who take trans uh, bus transportation uh, public bus transportation is because um they probably don't have um they're probably like college students or u university students or even just high schoolers who don't have enough money to buy an, uh, a car or to put gas in their car so i i think they should lower the price for the um, the people who go to school like university college and high school because sometimes their parents are also busy to always take them around and usually colleges and universities and high schools are more are more far away than your like normal than your like closer closer to your house. So then like in elementary schools, yeah. Question is, what do you think about gun control or weapon control? The leader of the future party. So I believe that gun laws, uh, school shootings that happen, and they happen annually every year. And it's, it's a very common thing. And I, I think that every student deserves a safe education and shouldn't always be thinking, what should I do when a school shooting happens? The leader of the climate party? I think in all, all countries, uh, all the world should be a little bit stricter. Um, uh, each year, a lot of crimes happen all around the world. So um, and I know that some countries take this very seriously. Um, but they do need to be still even more strict they can killed by these crimes. So I think, yes, uh, I do agree with the Future Party. Not only in America, all around the globe, they should be a little stricter. Our party? Uh, like, for example, like when you go to a specific place to hunt, for, it should be allowed for hunting. Uh, even if it's illegal, there's still lots of people in Canada who, like, not a lot, a lot, but, like, there's still some people who have guns in Canada and I think we should do something like to check 
uh, them or to check people regularly if they have problems or anything. Uh, the leader of the future party? So, um, uh, the, the leader of our party said that um, guns should be banned um, unless like, it's for hunting. And I, I disagree with that because guns is like a, it could be a normal hobby. Some people just like to shoot, like go on the range, shoot some targets, stuff like that and stuff. Right? But um, it just needs to be stricter, like maybe heavier background checks because someone could have like a mental disability or something in their mind, like a psychopath or something. So they need to do more background check and like uh, check on their uh, mental stability to make sure that, like, to make sure that nothing's going to happen. Yeah. Panels and water. Yeah, but when is dangerous too? Yeah. You can kill a bunch of birds. Okay. Wait, what birds? What the heck? Yeah. Our freedom, and we will change the world. No education, no future. War is expensive. Peace is priceless. Our future matters. Climate change is not a joke.